Hey guys, my name is Nicole Scott, and today we're going to be talking about Dunn and Bradstreet and how they are under fire with the FTC. Why? Because of their deceptive business practices. And I'm going to be honest with you, Dunn and Bradstreet is very sneaky. Their sales agents, in my opinion, lie. Why? Because they try to sell products that they say, you know, you can add these business trade lines with the credit builder uh, plus program. You can add trade lines, but at the end of the day, none of the trade lines that you want to add can actually be added. The only trade lines that you can actually use with Dun & Bradstreet Credit Builder Plus program are people that you already have an existing relationship with. So if you have an account with Verizon and Verizon doesn't report, chances are you're not going to be able to add manually add uh, Verizon as a business because a lot of these businesses that are listed with Dun & Bradstreet that are vendors do not report as a manual addition. So it kind of sucks and it's a real big waste of money. I remember about a year ago, I bought the Credit Builder Plus program with uh, Dun & Bradstreet. They allowed me to add up to 12 vendors and all of the vendors that I tried to add that I had relationships with, most of them could not even be added. So I wasn't even able to add all of the 12 trade lines that is included with the program. So now we're going to be actually going to the ftc.gov website so we can go over why Dun & Bradstreet is under fire from the FTC, what's going on, because this is all transpired very recently, like as of April 7th, 2022, there's been some updates. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and we'll go over this together just so you guys can understand because Dun & Bradstreet, you have to understand one thing. They are sales representatives. They are selling you something. You do not really need anything from them other than to maybe monitor your credit reports. But at the end of the day, um, when it comes to business credit, Dun & Bradstreet is not the end-all be-all. Yes, they are one of the biggest uh, business credit reporting companies out there. However, if you try to go get funding by just using your Dun & Bradstreet, profile, you're going to be highly disappointed because um, no matter where you go for business funding, chances are they're still going to require a personal guarantee. That's where they're pulling your personal credit report to ensure that, hey, look, we, we know this person is responsible. They have a solid credit profile. Um, and unfortunately, there's not a lot of places that are just going to approve you based on your Dun & Bradstreet profile overall. So that's where people get the misconception that, oh, I could just build business credit. I can just build this Dun & Bradstreet profile up. I can get an 80 paid X score and I'm good to go. No, you only need three business trade references, payment experiences, uh, as some people call it, for you to generate an 80 paid X score. So once you have three business trade lines reported paid as agreed, then or paid promptly, that's what they like to see, then you will generate an 80 paid X score. Now, if you pay early, so if you pay like right away, you pay early, then you'll get a higher paid X score. It's not really necessary because you definitely, you know, want to pay your bills on time, but you don't want to pay them too early as well. So I always try to wait about two weeks and then I'll pay um, all of my net 30 accounts. But um, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to share my screen with you guys so you can take a look at the ftc.gov website. And mind you, this is coming directly from the Federal Trade Commission. And you can see right here, it says Dun & Bradstreet uh, doing business as DNB. And this is uh, last updated April 7th of 2022. And this is in regard to this case right here. It's in response to the FTC charges uh, Dun & Bradstreet to clean up their small business credit reporting process and refund customers. Um, DNB deceived businesses about value of products and failed to correct errors on business credit reports, complaint alleges. Now, this is 100% accurate because I have known um, so many people that have had 
errors on their business credit reports. Um, and all that Dun & Bradstreet tries to do when they talk to you is sell you on some more of their products and try to get you to buy something with them. And I thought, man, these salespeople are so aggressive. Like what is going on? But they are trained sales representatives. Once, they, once you get on the phone with them, they don't even care what you're calling for. They're going to try to sell you on some of their products to make money off you. So here it is right here to settle the the federal trade commission charges that is engaged in deceptive and unfair practices done in Bradstreet has agreed to an order requiring substantial changes in the firm's operations that will benefit small and mid-sized businesses under the proposed order. And you guys can go to this website and view the proposed order. Dun & Bradstreet will also provide refunds to certain businesses that purchase the company's products in the belief that using the products would improve their business credit scores and ratings. And this is exactly what I am talking about because they're over here selling this uh, business credit uh, builder plus program. And if we go to their website right now, I can actually show it to you. So I think I paid like $1,500 for this credit builder plus program where you can monitor, you can actually manually add your business trade references and they sell this to people. And now they actually offer it as a monthly uh, service. So you can pay $149 a month and they tell you, you know, how it works. You can actually add up to 12 business trade references um, and it will help you build business credit. But like I said before, a lot of these business trade references that you go and try to manually submit right here, it says manually submit 12 trade references a year for Dun & Bradstreet. Um, a lot of those trade references are not able to be added. So you can only really add like small mom and pop places that you have done business with. So for example, if you've done business with someone like myself, say for example, you bought a coaching package off me, that would be considered a trade reference. You could potentially add me since we've done business and we have had a trade reference experience, a payment experience, and I've billed you and you've paid your bill, that would be considered a trade reference because we traded um, you know, a product or service for money. And that's exactly what a trade reference is. Cause at the end of the day, they just want to see your ability to pay your bills and to have some trade references in, to prove that on paper. So this is the credit builder plus program and they sell it and they make it seem like this is going to be your answer to building business credit with Dun & Bradstreet and uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, it wasn't, I wasted so much money on this particular product. And I'm telling you, it was a waste of time and a waste of money because most of the vendors cannot be added. So let's get back into this. So DMB is the leading provider of business credit reports, which can impact firms' ability to build relationships with vendors and other counterparties. Correct. Uh, but businesses have complained of errors on these reports that have cost them time, expense, and opportunities. As detailed in the FTC's administrative complaint, Dun & Bradstreet failed to give these businesses a clear, consistent, and reliable process to get these errors fixed. Moreover, Dun & Bradstreet profited from businesses' pain by selling them a line of products that proposed to help them improve their reports. In fact, uh, for many businesses, these benefits proved illusory while the costs were all too real. And I can say that I'm a huge advocate of this because the same thing happened to me. And of course, I wasted a bunch of money with them under the false representation that this would help my business credit profile. But what they failed to tell me was that a lot of these places actually couldn't be added. By you buying this, it doesn't report as a trade line. It's simply like for you to add vendors that are really hard to come by. Um, so it's just a really faulty uh, system that they have here and they charge a lot of money for it. A faulty DMB credit report can be a huge burden on a small business raising costs and uh, choking off opportunity, said Samuel Levin, uh, director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection. This order arms businesses with new tools to ensure a fair shake stops Dun & Bradstreet from uh, profiting illegally from businesses' pain and returns funds to the firms that got fleeced. And I can tell you, um, I feel like, you know, my business should probably 
get on on this as well because we bought the Credit Builder Plus program for a year and we weren't even really able to use it. Um, and of course, you know, their deceptive sales practices were the ones that talked us into buying this program. And then when we did um, purchase the program and we started using it, they actually flagged our account. So now we are actually one of the businesses that they have false information on, and we're trying to get it corrected with them as well. And it's very hard to get something corrected with Dun & Bradstreet. They do not have a process for you to correct anything that might be inaccurate on your credit report. You actually have to call them and calling them and actually getting to someone that can uh, fix the problem is like pulling teeth. Um, I called yesterday. I was transferred to like three different reps before a rep that was not even in the US took down my complaint and then said that they would have someone else call me. So it's just a nightmare. It wastes a ton of time. Yesterday, I spent over three hours on the phone with Dun & Bradstreet trying to get my business credit reports corrected because they do have some inaccurate information on there. And they actually are now at the point where when you add, when you manually add, or you allow your your customers to add you as a vendor, it's almost like they are not uh, adding the trade lines. They, They say that they have to go through a verification process, but it's like, what verification process do you need? If you need the invoice, just ask us. But other than that, I think the FTC is right on, spot on, because this happened to me. So I can't even imagine how many other people this has happened to as well. Um, Dun & Bradstreet credit reports, ratings, and scores, the complaint notes, are often key factors in whether and on what terms businesses will extend credit or award contracts to other businesses. This means that the content of Dun & Bradstreet's reports can be vitally important to small businesses and mid-sized businesses. In many cases, however, the reports contained incorrect information, including items as fundamental as a business name or address. And this is totally correct. So if you do have that in Bradstreet and you're not aware of who they are, if you're a small business owner, make sure to go and check your reports for them. You can update your reports with them for free, but you definitely don't want to get sold because if you sign up for an account, chances are they're going to reach out to you. They're going to try to sell you on something. The only thing that you really need is like their $39 credit reporting information. And honestly, you might not even need that. Often when a business would question or try to correct an inaccuracy on its report, the and pitched a suite of services under the name Credit Builder, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. According to the FTC complaint, Dun & Bradstreet claimed that its Credit Builder products allowed the businesses to have its payment history added to its credit report, which would improve the business's scores and ratings. And again, this is all so true. And I'm so glad that this is all coming to light because I thought, man, am I the only one going through this? Like I did not really consider filing a complaint with the FTC, but now I'm definitely going to look into this further because this is exactly what Dun & Bradstreet was doing. Their sales agents are sharks. They're liars. You really don't need any of that crap and it doesn't do anything for your business, but allow you to add trade lines that are with like small mom and pops um, shops, like, you know, small businesses that have to be registered with Dun & Bradstreet. They have to have a Dun's number. They don't have to have a Paydex score, but they do have to have a Dun's number um, and they have to be registered. And even then they might not add the trade line or the trade reference to your credit profile. Um, According to the FTC's complaint, though the company regularly failed to deliver on its promises about the credit builder, while DNB salespeople pitched the credit builder by promising businesses that the product would make it easy for them to add payment history information to their credit reports, thousands of credit builder subscribers could not get any such information added to their credit reports at all. In fact, the complaint alleges that DNB refused credit builder subscriber submissions more often than it accepted them. Hallelujah. I am so glad that, that someone has finally realized that this is a huge scheme that Dun & Bradstreet has um, been doing. I mean, they sell people on this. I just had one of my clients sign up for this and I told him, look, you don't need that. Cancel it because they're full of 
poop. And they really are just trying to get you for the sale. They don't care two craps about you. And it is so hard to add the so-called trade references once you do sign up for their product, just like it states in this particular article. The FTC complaint also alleges that Dun & Bradstreet telemarketers deceptively pitched credit builder to new businesses and to businesses unfamiliar with Dun & Bradstreet by falsely claiming that the business had to purchase the credit builder so that DNB could conduct a background check and provide a business with a complete credit report. And I feel like when they sold me on it, I feel like that was something that I felt like I had to do and that it was really going to help my business. And mind you, this was probably um, almost two years ago when my business first started and they did reach out to me. They were very aggressive. And it was kind of scary. So I just want to bring this to you guys so that way you guys can be educated about it as well. We'll get through the article here. In addition, according to the complaint, uh, DNB did not clearly tell businesses that the credit builder subscriptions automatically renewed each year, nor did it properly disclose other renewal practices that led to ever increasing costs for its clients. Oh my gosh, this happened to me. I bought the Credit Builder Plus program and I actually had it automatically renew on me. So they automatically charged my bank like another like $1,500 or whatever it was. And I had to call them and it was really hard to get through to them and speak to someone. They had me on auto pay and I told them from the beginning, do not put me on auto pay. I do not want to be on auto pay because you know, at this point, you don't want them just automatically charging your account. And that's what they're doing. So it's very sad what they've done to people. Um, DNB is very greedy. They are not looking out for your best interest. They get mad at people like me. Um, they actually put a note on my credit profile saying that I collect a monthly subscription in order to report uh, business trade lines, which is so far from the so far from the truth. Um, we have a credit repair business, but it has nothing to do with business credit services. And they really just are beside themselves with all of this information that they, you know, are reporting and without even doing it any further research. So it's really sad. And most of the people that are doing the research, they're not even in the US, um, you know, so I don't really know how much they are educated about business credit in the US. Under the terms of the proposed settlement order, DNB would be required to make numerous changes to its processes that'll help ensure that DNB responds promptly and fully to businesses' complaints about correct information on their DNB reports. Among the notable changes, when a business informs DNB of incorrect information on its report, DNB will be required to either delete the disputed information or perform a reinvestigation of the information to confirm its accuracy. If the reinvestigation finds the disputed information to be inaccurate or cannot verify payment experience information, DNB must delete the information and must also ensure that it is not re-added to the report at a later date. DNB has to comply with specific periods of a time within which to promptly investigate and correct the errors. The time allowed depends on the complexity of the investigation. So clearly they're not giving us a time frame. I actually just put in a complaint yesterday to prompt an investigation. So we'll see how long that takes. DMB will be required to inform businesses of the results of their investigations and provide businesses with free access to the information as revised. And you know what's so messed up is in order for me to even see this information that was on my Dun & Bradstreet profile, they made me purchase a credit report, which was like 30 something dollars. And now it's going to charge me on a monthly basis. And I can't even figure out how to cancel it in their website. They make it so hard to cancel any payments that they would be receiving. It's very sad. They make you call them. No one's ever available. Their phone rings. You're on hold forever. It's just um, you know something that really needs to be cleaned up on Dun & Bradstreet's profile because they have so many clients, but they don't have enough customer support. The settlement also provides that Dun & Bradstreet must make clear disclosures to companies to which it is selling credit builder about the rate at which DNB accepts subscribers' requests to add payment history information. DNB would also have to make upfront disclosures about ways that DNB limits its roles in helping them add such information. These provisions will help prospective customers make informed choices when deciding whether to subscribe to Dun & Bradstreet Credit Builder uh, products. <clears throat> and that's my exact thoughts. They are not 
being upfront and honest with us. They are not really fully disclosing how the product works, but I will be the first one to tell you you're better off going with vendor accounts, net 30 accounts that actually report to Dun & Bradstreet versus paying this uh, to Dun & Bradstreet because it's not going to do you any good. The settlement would also require DMV to provide refunds to many businesses that first purchased the Credit Builder Plus products between April 2015 and May of 2020. And that's awesome for me because I believe I actually bought this around May of 2020, as well as providing opportunities for many current customers to cancel their service and obtain refunds if they choose. So if you guys purchase this product between April of 2015 and May of 2020, get a refund because these people are liars. Okay. In addition, the settlement would put restrictions on Dun & Bradstreet's ability to automatically renew credit builder subscriptions, requiring disclosures and prohibiting DMB from using automatic renewal to switch a subscriber into a more expensive product that the subscriber did not order. The settlement would prohibit DMB from misrepresenting the current or potential customers any a material fact about the price or features of any product. The FTC is committed to taking action to halt abuses aimed at small businesses or other organizations. In a recent case against Richmond Capital, the agency took action against two defendants behind a small business financing scheme by banning them from the merchant cash advance and debt collection industries and ordering them to provide funds for redress. The commission vote to issue the administrative complaint and to accept the consent agreement was four to zero. Uh, the FTC will publish a description of the consent agreement package in the federal uh, register soon. The agreement will be subject to public comment for 30 days from the publication in the federal register, after which the commission will decide whether to make the proposed consent order final. Once proposed, comments will be posted on regulations.gov. So make sure that you guys head over to regulations.gov and put your experience in there. I cannot be the only one that's going through this. I'm definitely going to do my part. I need you guys to do your part. And here's a quick note from this. Um, the commission issues an administrative complaint when it has reason to believe that the law has been or is being violated. It appears that the commission that a proceeding in the public interest. So when the commission issues a consent order on a final basis, it carries a force of law with respect to the future actions. Each violation of such an order may result in a civil penalty up to $46,517. You know, these are all the websites that you can go to, to, to make your complaint. If you feel like, you know, you were a part of this. So if you guys feel like you have been a victim of their deceptive practices, please make a complaint, get your money back, ask Dun & Bradstreet for a refund, because this is really bad. This is really sad. This is you know, this is shameful on their behalf. And honestly, um, Dun & Bradstreet, I kind of knew from the beginning that all of their agents were really highly trained sales representatives. All that they care about is making that dollar from you guys. So we're going to just follow up on this a little bit more. I'm going to give you the latest update that they just came out with on April 7th, because this article is actually from January 13th of 2022. Now they did recently put out updated case summary on April 7th of 2022. And it just says here to settle the federal trade commission charges that engaged in deceptive and unfair practices, Dun & Bradstreet has agreed to order requiring substantial changes in the firm's operations that will benefit small and mid-sized businesses. Under the proposed order, Dun & Bradstreet will also provide refunds to certain businesses that purchased the company's product in the belief that using the product would improve their business credit score and ratings. Now, I was that person. I believed that buying their product, they made it seem like all you had to do was just add the vendors that you currently work with and you're good to go. You can just add up to 12 people so you can add everyone, you know, but that's just not what it is. What they were doing was deceptive, unfair, and taking advantage of brand new businesses who obviously building business credit is a huge part of starting, you know, a small business. But 
a lot of people got deceived. They were lied to. And this is very shameful on behalf of Dun and Bradstreet. So you can actually read the decision and the order here on their website. I'll go ahead and put links to this website from the FTC in the description of the video. But I just wanted to bring this to you guys because I actually was a victim of this and it was very upsetting because at that time that I purchased this, I was a brand new business. I wasn't making any income. So I paid this out of my own pocket. I had a brand new infant baby. I was starting a brand new business and here comes Dun & Bradstreet selling me this package that's over a thousand dollars. I even did a payment plan with them. I think I paid like five payments of $500. I really feel like I got deceived from this as well. And at the end of the day, I was probably only able to add maybe four business trade lines because all of the places that that I tried to manually add would not allow manual submission. So um, it was kind of, you know, not kind of, but it was definitely a waste of money. And it was, it's sad how they make it seem like this is the answer. This is what you need to do, um, especially to people that just started their business and they're just not educated on how deceiving uh, Dun & Bradstreet is. Now, of course, when a credit bureau like Dun & Bradstreet is one of the biggest in the credit business um, arena, we would think, hey, they got some sort of level of trust to them. We can trust them because they're Dun & Bradstreet. Well, this goes to show that we cannot trust them. The credit bureaus are out for one thing and one thing only, and that is to make money off your purchases. And they will tell you whatever they need to tell you in order to get that purchase. They're very, very um, you know, salesy. They will call you and blow you up and email you and just be ridiculous about it. So again, guys, my name is Nicole Scott. I'm going to leave links in the description below, but make sure to follow my channel. I'm always putting out videos about credits, Um, and about things that just help you as an entrepreneur, period. So if you haven't by now, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure to follow me on all of the social media platforms. I'm on Instagram at Credit Coach Nicole Scott, or you can find us at Credit Coach Pros. So I got a couple of different Instagram and we're on TikTok, Credit Coach Pros. We're on uh, Twitter at Credit Coach Pros. We're pretty much across everything. Uh, You can visit our website, creditcoachpros.com. So if you are in the need to get any sort of personal loan, business loans, funding, credit, content, whatever you need help with, we are your credit coaches. I'm also a business coach. So I help small businesses develop their business and start their business. And there's a lot of things that go into that. So if you do need help, if you are looking to build business credit, start your business, scale your business, grow your business, leveraging credit is definitely a great way to do it. I'm not saying that uh, you have to you know, do anything deceptive or anything like that. I am simply saying by building business credit is going to help you leverage your credit. And when you understand how to leverage your credit, you understand that, you know, you do have to pay this back. You know, this is not free money by any means. This is funding that you will have to pay back, but it's going to help you so you can get the funds to grow your business, to scale your business, to hire employees, to be able to, you know, create more marketing materials, to be able to run ads on social media. Uh, You can run ads on, you know, whatever platform. So, Again, guys, my name is Nicole Scott. If you found this video to be helpful, do me a favor and just smash that like button because it helps this video and my channel get out to more people so I can help you guys. Because at the end of the day, my goal is just to provide you with as much value as possible. So until next time, take care.